we are back for another video where we're going to be talking about another specific type of medication that you could be uh, prescribed. And I'll probably need a little hand saying this one because it's new to me. So it's sulfonylurea. Correct, sulfonylurea. Sulfonylurea. You say it so easily. It's like you've said it your whole life. <laughs> well, it's part of my day to day. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sulfonylurea uh, is another medication class. There's, there's several different types of these medications. Yes, exactly. So uh, we, we talked about you know, our usual first-line medication, metformin, but many individuals do require additional help to help manage their diabetes. Uh, so we have a number of options on our shopping list after metformin, of which one of the groups is the sulfonylurea group. Mm -hmm. So there's two agents that are typically recognized in this group. One is that it's called glyburide, and a second one that is called glyclozide. These are both pill options, uh, oftentimes taken uh, once or twice per day, uh, depending on which agent you choose, because uh, there is a slow release once a day option for the glyclozide. Glyclozide. Exactly. So these have nicknames that we could use. <laughs> these are, these are essentially the nicknames <laughs> okay. that we're dealing with. All right, so what would be the strategy of these drugs? Would they be used in chorus with uh, the metformin? Yeah, exactly. So, uh, of course, we always want to reinforce lifestyle modification and, and maintenance for our patients. Metformin generally stays in the background in almost all situations, but now we're looking at, at second-line agents. So, the sulfonylurea class, basically the way they work is they increase the body's insulin production. Okay, and the metformin helps the body use that insulin. Exactly. So, so we've got together. two agents that are working differently, but in concert to the same goal. Okay, perfect. So would the body produce noticeable amounts more insulin from just taking the pills? Yes, absolutely. And, and they can be very potent agents at times as well. Uh, besides the benefit of increasing insulin to help lower blood sugars, there is also the possibility that is associated with these of too much insulin production. So the, there was no threat of hypoglycemia with the metformin because it wasn't affecting your insulin levels, but in the other case uh, with sulfonylurea, you actually could be producing too much. Correct, and that is the fine balance that we try to strike with managing diabetes, is not only improving blood sugars, but trying to minimize the risk of side effects such as hypoglycemia. Okay, so finding the balance in terms of dosage per day or pres prescription, that's sort of the key. Exactly, so, so the, of course the dosage is important. Uh, the timing of when people take their medications is also important. Uh, you, you typically want to be timing these and taking them with meals. Uh, patients can get themselves into some difficulty with hypoglycemia in the setting of taking the medication or skipping meals um, because they work no matter whether you eat or not. This is uh, sort of the double-edged sword. So sometimes the problem when it comes back that this has been working not perfectly, it would have nothing to do with the prescription, it would be more to do with the person's lifestyle changing possibly or it could at times mm -hmm. and certainly we can see some people that you know they've made a number of changes to their activity levels or their diet and we can sometimes find that the agent is now a little too potent at the dose prescribed so we need to consider making adjustments uh, we also need to think a little bit about if someone is otherwise unwell so they're mm -hmm. not eating for whatever reason or perhaps they're not supposed to eat because of a procedure, we have to think about whether an adjustment needs to be made for those medications in that setting. All right. So is there anything else we need to know on the basic level of sulfonylurea? So the only other one side effect that is described, uh, because it does increase insulin production, is some individuals do experience a little bit of weight increase. Mm -hmm. This is generally a frustration for our patients with type 2 diabetes because we're always trying to help them to hopefully lower their weight, but in the end we sometimes have to take a little bit of a trade-off when it comes to good blood sugar control and the weight management aspect of things. What is the aspect of the drug that would cause weight gain? Basically it is that insulin production. Insulin so more does insulin. cause some weight increase. Interesting. Well, if we've covered the way uh, sulfonylurea and metformin work together, I guess we can move on to a couple other different types of groups of treatments in one more video. So stay tuned.